And I assume they did the same thing with her. Now, was there blue screen behind you, or did they tell you anything else about? Well, no, I did it. There wasn't any blue screen or everything, but then they took me in another room, and they did that modern technology where they have you face all different four directions and do all that stuff with your body to where they can actually recreate you without you being there. Yeah, so they're going to insert the virtual reality version of Jesse Ventura into whatever dreamscape they want. Exactly. I, I can't wait for this film to come out because it was one of the it was the most bizarre shoot that I've ever been on in my life. The only shoot that could at all compare to it was when I did that uh, uh, episode uh, 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 on the X Files. Jose Chung from Outer Space, which I might add by all the X File crazy people that watch that. I shouldn't call them crazy, but all the you know the passion people that watch the X Files and all that. It made that one made it into I think the top ten X Files of all time. But this shoot was the the X Files were strange, but this shoot beat the X Files by ten. Wow. Well, it, I mean, you don't get bigger than the Wachowski brothers, right? And, and so. I mean, hell, you've starred alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger and Running Man and Predator, but 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 now it's Jesse Ventura and a Wachowski Brothers movie. Do you have any idea when it's coming out? No idea whatsoever. Like I so, said, I don't even know what the whole script is. I, you know, I went there. I did what they asked me to do. I was happy to do so. It was a great experience that day. They're super professional. They're great people, and I have great respect for them. Were they secretive about it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd say they were because you never saw a script. They just told me what they wanted me to do. They just here, here they put me into the wardrobe. They made me up look like, like I said, John Travolta on Battlefield Earth almost. And then they just, I just sat there, it, you know. And it was so funny, Alex, because when I got into talking about it, and I think I achieved what they want, I completely forgot about what I looked like. <laughs> and I, and I'm sure that's what they wanted out of it. Well, uh, certainly if it's criticizing the Iraq war, it's going to be powerful. I guess it's probably going to be like android, uh, you know, robotic humans a hundred years from now with some history uh, of what happened in our times. I would yeah, imagine. That's, Alex, that's exactly what it is, basically. It's, it's them assessing and analyzing what happened now. So it's going to be like a history of what happened in our times. Yeah. Only a hundred years from now, it's strange people like what you'll see what I look like. <laughs> and it'll probably, I'm just guessing, we'll see if I'm right in a year or two or whenever this comes out. It will probably then morph into the future and then a fictional future, kind of the Wachowski brothers guessing what human development and merger with the machines like Ray Kurzweil talks about happening. Could be. Your well, guess that's is as good as mine. Well, we're going to find out as soon as this movie comes out. And I guess you don't know what a tentative name is either. No, nothing. All I did, it was a one-day shoot. Uh, they, did, they, they did what they called a, a favorite nations contract. That's where when you, oh, oh, who else? Oh, they had Salman Rushdie, too. I didn't see him. I saw, I'm trying to recall the list of all the people they got, but Salman Rushdie's going to be in it. And uh, and so uh, that all I know, and when I mean favorite nations, that me that's where they go out. And if they hire about ten stars to do cameos, you all get to pay the same amount of money. I mean, they got a flat rate of money. Here it is, if you want to do it. And so, but but there's no real negotiations yeah. or anything that goes. Now that's on. what happened with Scanner you know, Darkly that I was in. I basically got paid the same thing as Keanu Reeves or Woody Harrelson or Winona Ryder, and it was the same thing in Waking Life. Rick Linkletter just said, I want you to rant about the left-right paradigm. And I drove around for a few hours, and that's basically was edited down into the film. Sure. So that sounds, sounds pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real interested to see this film. Incredible. Jesse, we're going to come back. we got two more segments with you. I want to start in-depth getting into the book. Already a bestseller, folks. Only been out, what, four or five days. Came out Monday. It's uh, March uh, 12th. Came out March 8th. American Conspiracies with Governor Jesse Ventura. We'll go through these hardcore chapters and more straight ahead. Stay with us. I tell you, Jesse Ventura, he is the real deal. And he said, I'm going to produce this show the way I want. I'm going to find out the truth. 
He believed global warming was real, found out it was a fraud, admitted he was wrong. Uh, he didn't really believe Manchurian candidates were real, went to the research, it was there. Uh, HARP, I mean, uh, the global death plot, the global extermination plan. And now the show is picked back up. We'll be back on, I guess, in the next year or so, looking to start shooting again coming up in uh, uh, the middle of the summer. Uh, we've only got this segment one more with Jesse Ventura. And, uh, Jesse, let's let's walk through the book here. I'm going to get a document cam shot for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. I don't want to say what, what is your favorite chapter, but what chapter do you think is the most most hardcore or the most frightening? Uh, hardcore or the most frightening? Well, to me, in our modern times, you know, naturally 9-11. Because that's what set the table for everything that's going on right now. Now, for, for in my lifetime, I think it was the assassination of Jack Kennedy because I, I believe when they, when they could take out our president, it gave them great courage to do anything they wanted. Take out our president and get away with it. That gave them great courage that if you can kill the president and get away with it, you can get away with anything. Absolutely. I mean, if they could kill him in plain view as a message to those that are informed that, hey, this is a dictatorship of the CIA. What do you think, well, you, you may not have seen it, about a month ago, Ron Paul gave a speech and said, there's been a coup in America, the CIA ships in the drugs, and they run America. Well, I, I don't know if they run America, but they damn sure do the drug business because that's how they're able to do the clandestine things that they can do without having to report it to the Congress. See, the Congress allocates all the money. But if they can get money from an outside source, well, then they're not responsible to Congress. So then, then they become rogues or cowboys out there, and they can literally do any type of operation they want without clearing it with anything. Is this uh, – what book are you most proud of? Uh, Creative-wise, I'm most proud of uh, Don't Start the Revolution Without Me. But uh, excitement, interest-wise, I like this one the best because this one is not about Jesse Ventura. You know, my first three books were all about me. And so this is the first book I've done where I'm not the focus of the book. The, book, the focus of the book is the 14 conspiracies. So it's a new level of my writing now, along with Dick, of going to something that doesn't necessarily mean is about Jesse Ventura, that it's about something else. And, folks, you may think you know it all, but you'll learn something with this book. It's a great, quick read. It's a thick book, but it, it goes very quickly. You get addicted to each chapter, wanting more of the information. Buy the book, read it, and then give it to a family or uh, member or somebody at work. Wake somebody up because the people are ready to be awakened now. Jesse, can you feel the awakening taking place? Well, I, yeah, I really am, and I can feel it in many, many ways, and I'll give you two Two easy ways. Every time I fly to Chicago O'Hare, I get recognized and all the people in Illinois come up to me and say, hey, we need you to be our governor. Because, of course, the last two governors, they've had Governor Ryan and the other guy are going to jail. Or they, you know, now I'm in New York. You can't believe all the New Yorkers in Manhattan begging me to move to New York and become their governor. What I feel happening right now, Alex, is a true grassroots movement of total disgust and untrust with our government, which hurts me. It really does, because I love this country. And to watch the people who are now, why should they be put in a position to where they can't have respect and they can't have credibility and they can't have trust in their elected officials. Governor, stay there. Let's come back and finish up with that thought. And then I'm going to ask you about the naked body scanners. Will you let them record your naked body or that of your wife or children? All Americans have to ask that question. We'll be right back with Jesse Ventura.